OK, you're in Microsoft Excel and you want to apply multiple filters when using the pivot by function. So we're going to filter on product group and on customer type. So I'll start my pivot by formula here. So row fields are going to be the branches. Now I do want to include the column heading. So I click once in the column header and then click again to include the column heading. Comma, coal fields, not interested in values. That's going to be the revenue column. So I click once in the column heading and click again to include the column heading function. Simply that's going to be sum, comma, field headers, yes, and show. Now I'm not interested in row total depth, row sort order, coal total depth, coal sort order, but then I'm on to filter array. So what we're going to do here is first of all say that the product group must equal clothes. So what I do is I click in the product group column header once, then I put my comparison operator in, which is equals, and then I point at my criteria held in F2. Now what I do have to do, because I'm using two criteria, is put the first criteria in brackets. Now because here I'm applying and criteria, so the product group needs to be clothes and the customer type needs to be store, I need to use multiply between the two criteria. And then my second criteria is that the customer type must equal store. And I need to put that also in brackets. Then I close the bracket for pivot by, press enter, and I get my pivot by report. Now to check the answers, we could create a regular pivot table. So let's do that. So I'm looking at branch in rows, revenue in values product group and customer type in filters, product group is clothes and customer type is store. And if I compare the answers, you will see that they are identical. Okay, so that was the AND criteria. Let's move on to OR criteria. So here I want to pick up records where the product group is either clothes or hardware equals pivot by row fields are my branches again coal fields not interested in values revenue function is sum field headings yes and show and then comma 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 and then we're on to filter array so both of my criteria are on product group Firstly, I'd say the product group needs to equal clothes and that would need to go in brackets. And because this is all criteria, I use addition and then open bracket. The product group can also equal hardware. Close the bracket for that criteria and then for pivot by press enter. And those are my results. If I create a pivot table to check the answers. So I've got branch and revenue product group in filters and I'm looking at clothes and hardware. And we should see that we have the same results. OK, so let's look at all and criteria. So the product group can either be clothes or hardware, but the customer type needs to be web. Equals pivot by. Row fields branch. No coal fields, values revenue. Function is sum again. Field head is yes and show, comma, 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 comma. Filter array. So open bracket. Product group needs to be clothes or so that's addition. Product group can equal hardware. Need to put that in brackets. Now, because I'm adding a further criteria, an AND criteria, I need to put these two OR criteria in a further set of brackets. And then because it's AND criteria, I use multiplication. And I would say that the customer type needs to equal web. 
That also needs to go in brackets. Close the bracket for pivot by, press enter. I get those results. I could check it with a standard pivot table. So we've got branch and revenue, product group and customer type and filters. Product group is either clothes or hardware. And the customer type is web. And there we are. We get the same answers. Now, one more example. Here it's a little bit more complex. So the records need to meet either of these two criteria, clothes, products sold on the web, hardware, products sold to international customers. So this is two sets of AND criteria equals pivot by, row fields, the branches, coal fields, not interested in, values is the revenue, function is sum, comma, field headers, yes and show, Row total depth, row sort order, cold total depth, cold sort order, filter array. So the product group column needs to equal clothes and, so that's multiplication, the customer type column needs to equal web. And I need to put both of those criteria in brackets. And then a further set of brackets around both criteria. And then to include the second set of criteria, I use addition because it's all criteria and the product group would need to equal hardware multiplied by the customer type equaling international. And I need to put all my brackets in. So it'd be two at the beginning there, one at the end of the first criteria, one at the beginning of the second criteria and two brackets at the end and then a further bracket for pivot by. Press enter, and there's my report. Okay, that's all I wanted to cover in this particular video. Hopefully that's useful. If it is, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe, and I'll see you next video.